Hey my friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are catching this video and you used to watch my old booktube content, hey, how you doing, what's up? Um, I know I have not made bookish content in a really long time. Like, I've just been really unmotivated and kind of discouraged from bookish content and booktube. Um, I do want to go back to making bookish content. I don't know how often, but I do want to go back to making bookish content so it's not disappearing off the channel. Reading will always be one of my first loves and I have been doing a lot of reading. I just was really discouraged from making the content because it felt like nobody was watching, nobody cared anyway. I know that's really negative self-talk. Listen, me and my therapist are working on it, okay? But I say all that to say that I'm gonna make the content whether anyone watches or not because I want to make the content. It might not be as frequent as like my beauty and my lifestyle content, but I'm going to make it. So here's what we're doing today. I wanted to show you my coffee table book collection. It's not super huge, but I'm just very happy with it. There's only a couple coffee table books that I want. I love the aesthetic of coffee table books. I actually read my coffee table books um, and I just really love them. And I like collecting books that are meaningful to me in that way. So I, like I said, it's not a big collection because I haven't just picked up books that I haven't wanted to actually read or browse through and different stuff like that. And I have four, six, I have eight books to show you. Two books, I'm not sure if they're considered coffee table books. I use them in that way, but they're definitely beauty books, but I think you could use them as coffee table books. So yeah, let's just get into it. So first up, we will start with celebrity books. That's what I have the most of, celebrity type books. This first book right here is from Dr. Oz and it's Food Can Fix It. And as you see, I have my little tabbies on it. I actually, I actually need to go back and revisit this because I have been dealing with a lot of health issues. And so I'm sure there is wisdom in here that I could use, but I have, oh, and then this is what it looks like naked. I always like to see what a book looks like naked. That's the spine, but that's what it looks like naked without the dust jacket. And then again, this is with the dust jacket. And this is also the inside cover. Is that not beautiful? Let me take the dust jacket off for a minute so we can just get into this, okay? So I don't wanna be running my mouth too long, but um, oh, one of the things that I have a little sticky on is the no excuse salad. <laughs> Basically it's mason jar salads. I used to make mason jar salads all the time. They were a huge help. You can throw anything in them you want. You just want to be careful about like the, look up videos on YouTube about mason jar salads because it is an order you want to put them in so your stuff doesn't wilt, but I really like them. So see, I'm already revisiting something that I'm like, why did you stop making those? I don't know. So this is my first book. I really love it. It used to sit down here on my bookshelf. So that's the first one. And then next up, these two are a pair. I found these um, at like bargain bookstores and I absolutely love Cameron Diaz. I love her outlook on wellness and wholeness and um, aging and anti-aging and all of those different things I really love hearing her talk about that and I think if there's an outlook I'd like to mimic I'd like to create my own outlook but if I had to mimic an outlook hers would probably be the closest to the type of outlook that I would want to mimic so she came out with two books the first one is the body book this is it and this book talked all about you know everything about your body and i could just see this book being so useful even for young girls like you know like teenage girls and different stuff like that or girls in their early 20s especially if you weren't really taught about your body even if you were i found things in here that i thought was still helpful um but um yeah and even just looking at it now and also, this is one This is one of my favorite dedications. Do y'all have those favorite dedications? This is dedicated. It's The dedication says dedicated to your body. Ugh, I love books. So, yeah, like there's just a lot in here. One chapter is about protein and strength. Um, I was trying to go to the chapter so I could just read some of them off to you guys. So it's broken up into different parts. And the first part is nutrition. The second part is fitness. The third part is mind. And I just think this book is done so well. It's so holistic. And I really appreciated that. And 
I felt like there were still nuggets in here that was really helpful for me. Like I said, I have gone through this book. And then the next book, which I need to go through more, and here she is right there. And this is the longevity book. And this book is about the sinus, the sinus, <laughs> the science of aging, the biology of strength and the privilege of time. I love that saying. I think that's so beautiful. Um, and this one I did write my name in and I got it into 2019. Okay. And then this is what that one looked like. So very similar to the body book cover. And I can't remember how this book is broken down. So ugh, I'm, I'm causing problems here. Um, and this one says dedicated to your journey. And that is where I feel like I am in life right now. Le journey. <laughs> um, let me see. Also, let me show you this really cool thing really quick in here. Look at this. So this is her taking pictures. I want to do this. This is her taking pictures. She says in the book how far apart it, they are. It's been a while since I read it, so I can't remember. But I want to do that. Like, I want to take a picture at every... I think I would want to do it every decade. That might be what this is. I would have to go back and look because I can't remember. Um, But yeah. And let me tell you how this book is broken down into three parts again. Um, and it's talking about living in the age of longevity, the biology of aging, the art and science of living longer. So I absolutely love that. And like I said, this is definitely a book I'm going to go back over now because there's just so many nuggets and wisdom in here and things that even if you know them, sometimes we forget them or we know something, but we don't abide by it. We don't live by it. And as somebody who's trying to get her wellness in order, um, for long term, um, I just think this is great and I love it so much. So I'm very happy with those. And then this book, I got purely for the love of Whitney Houston. Okay. Purely for the love of Whitney Houston. Look how big this book is. I love everything about it. I love everything about it. This is one of my most prized coffee table books. It is literally, I got it at Ollie's for four dollars. This book. Let me see what this cover looks like naked. I don't actually know if I know. Oh. Oh. It's just white. Okay. And this book. It has like a foreword by Clive Davis, who was like her producer or whatever. And actually it has it by a few people. And then it says... Poor Nippy, which is her nickname. And then look at her pretty self. I absolutely love Whitney Houston. To this day, if I think about the fact that I'm never going to get to see her perform live, it just really makes me sad. I think she was one of the best voices that has ever graced this earth. I, I just love... She was in my top three female um, singers of all time. Look at... I mean, look at this. Look at this. Like if ah, uh, look at that beautiful. Let's find another one. Let me just go to a random page. Oh, look at that makeup. That actually inspires me to do makeup inspired by that. Look at that. So it's just literally a whole bunch of pictures of hers. Not really a lot of words, but I'm I'm okay with that. It's just ah, uh, look at her. I love that. <laughs> okay, so those are the celebrity books. Then, if you've been on my channel, I have talked about this video. Be video. I've talked about this book before. It was a while ago. It's a little embarrassing to look back on because I was so giddy about it that I just, yeah, I was very giddy about it. So, I will link that video if you want to see me in my giddy prime. I'm going to try to chill right now. This is the Golden Girls Forever, an unauthorized look behind the scenes. No, Golden Girls Forever, an unauthorized look behind the lanai. I love the Golden Girls, okay? It's one of my comfort shows. This is what this, look at this book naked. I think this is probably the best book naked out of all of them. Look at there. Look at that. Look, look at that. And then it has a quote from like all 
the girls. And it's like quotes that represent who their characters were. Um, this is what it looks like when you first open the book. Really pretty. And then it's just all the behind the scenes. This is the book for someone who loves, I mean, loves the Golden Girls. Because there is so much behind, and I've read a lot of this book. There is so much behind the scenes knowledge that if you just kind of like it, if you're like, oh, I watch it every once in a while, I like it, whatever. Like, no, 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 no. Because there's so much, this book talks about how they were cast, how they picked out the furniture for the different rooms, um, special guests that came on and just so many different things that as someone who loves the show, I'm like, yeah, give me every fact you can find. Love it. So I absolutely love this book. And this is probably the prettiest book naked. Let me see if I can find a pretty picture. Oh, here's one of Blanche. Look at there. There she goes, her sassy self. Let's see. Let me try to find another one. I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> Here's Sophia and her sister. Right there. And yeah. So, and that's the thing. There's pictures. There's pictures from behind the scenes. Like, it's just good. It's good, man good and then from another series that gives me the warm and cozy and can we also talk about the fact that this doesn't have a dutch jacket i appreciate that it's just naked but it's beautiful naked and this is best wishes warmest regards the story of Shit's creek by daniel levy and eugene levy is it levy or levy i think it's levy um and then on the back it says best wishes warmest regard i found this at ollie's and i was so excited because i almost bought this when it was at target but i was a little short on money so when i saw it at ollie's i was like i have to be down i'm not leaving the store without it so that's how that happened and this this series just gives me the warm and fuzzies this is a series i've watched all the way through and then began watching it again and just started going through it again look at them let's see what the back cover looks like i don't think i've ever seen it oh and then it's the other two Oh, and this book still has its new book smell. Oh my God, it still has its new book smell. And I love it. I don't want to spoil the series. So if you haven't seen it, look away right now because I'm about to, I'm about to show a picture of this. Spoil the scene. Look away. Okay, you ready? Look. They have that. Oh. My babies. Let's find another good one. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> if you've watched the show, do you remember the episode where um where David was trying to cook with his mom? <laughs> oh my god. And they basically almost killed each other. Oh my god. So that's that one. And then I have two more. Now these are the books that, like I said especially this one right here i'll go through this one first uh, coffee table you know i think you can use them in that way but to me these are more like beauty books um beauty coffee table books but i keep them with my coffee table books so you know anyway this is nevertheless she wore it 50 iconic fashion moments by ann shin and this is what it looks like right here i got this on amazon um and it had really good reviews i do really like this book i haven't gone through the whole book and you know that's how it looks i haven't gone through the whole book i remember one of the critiques that people said about this book is that um it had people on the front cover that wasn't in the book um so i was like oh, i don't love that but for what the book is so this book talks about iconic fashion moments all through history and it's been a joy to learn about i am a like knowledge nerd so it talks about like for instance the slip dress i know one of these is about the sleeveless shirt um let me see the meat dress with lady gaga um talks about jeans talks about hot pants and how they came about uh talks about the flapper dress the fire coat um the do-rag 
the descent collar and it's just so cool to learn about um capris right like certain things that's like these things were already a thing when i was around and some of them weren't right but just to learn about like how they came about why they're significant and what they mean because our clothes are a fashion statement and, and and just a statement you know what i mean so i just love learning about it this is a really cool book if you're into fashion in any way and you love learning about like facts and stuff like that i think you would really enjoy that and then the final book this is one of my prized possessions as you can see like i said i feel very strongly about these books it's not the hugest collection but i feel strongly about these books this is face paint the story of makeup by lisa eldridge i love everything about it i mean i feel like if i just did this you should understand look oh guys i'm sorry um what was i saying i just had an interruption um just had an interruption with the tv i think i'm gonna put that in as a blooper um this is face paint <laughs> sorry the story of makeup by lisa eldridge and on the back she collects vintage makeup so these are some of her actual pictures to my understanding of some of the vintage makeup she has she has a whole video on her channel too showcasing the vintage makeup she has and talking about it if you're a makeup nerd and you love that kind of thing i'm gonna link it down below her channel is just great in general but that video mm, stellar and this has a ton of vintage makeup all over the cover well the inside cover and then this book goes into so many things section one talks about the ancient palette section two the business of beauty um and then she has an afterword and different stuff like that. Um, it's just beautiful. And then here's that picture that's on the cover, like in full view. Um, the makeup nerd in me has absolutely loved this book. I've loved reading and learning about the behind the scenes of beauty. It's something because, you know, I'm not in the beauty industry. And so to read and learn about the history of makeup and just all of these things when I love makeup so much and makeup is such an outlet for me. It's one of the ways that I'm creative and I'm not someone who's good at like drawing or painting or anything like that. So I feel like makeup is my creative outlet to just paint my face. So, <laughs> um, And also thinking about all the different ways that makeup has been used through the years and used in different cultures and what it's represented over time in different cultures so i think this book is so well done so well researched i appreciate the time and the attention oh no the time and the attention put into this book and i absolutely love it it is a book i'm very grateful to have and yeah it's a book that makes me happy so there's that and I'm going to go ahead and go now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have coffee table books, let me know what your favorite coffee table book is and why. And I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.